Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time and Tarot. This is Tanya. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, Divine Time and Tarot family. I love you guys. Welcome new subscribers. Love you too. We are here doing a general reading for Libra. This is for the first week of April 2022. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Libra, I've already shuffled Sage Pate over your cards. Let's get some overall energies for you. God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit, what do you have for Libra? What do you have for Libra? What do you have for Libra? Libra. What are the overall energies for Libra? Overall energies for Libra. Okay. Seven of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. <sighs> this is you standing up for what you believe in. This is you having boundaries. This is you protecting yourself. And you are, and have confidence. Claim your personal power. And you are protected, Libra. You are protected. There's something here that has you mentally stuck with the Eight of Swords. You can be free. You can change the situation. You know, you're not stuck. Literally, you're not stuck. You have the chariot. You're determined to move on. We got the will of fortune here, too. Something is destined. This is a new beginning. This is the end of delays. This is a change in direction that offers happiness. You're moving away from something. You're determined to also. We got the strength card. Could be dealing with a Leo. Cancer. We have Gemini Libra Aquarius here. We have the Five of Wands. This is competition. This is jealousy. This is fussing, fighting, and arguing. It's time to withdraw from drama. Have patience with, you know, the people that are around you. But there's definitely some competition here. Yeah, the Sun card here. Something here is destined. Something here is definitely coming to the light. With the sun card, you got three major arcana cards here. Four. Something is definitely changing here. Give me some... Get some love cards for you and see what's give me some more information for Libra. Give me some more information here for Libra, and then I'll clarify these cards. What do you have for Libra? God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. We have family and friends. So this could be about a family situation. This is support of family and friends. May help strengthen this connection. What else you got for Libra? We have building a future. This one is a keeper. Your love life is ascending to the next level. And final shot. Whoa. So maybe you're definitely reconciling with someone here. And this is the final shot here. This is the... If it, if it doesn't... If something doesn't work out now, it's a done deal is what I'm hearing. Is what I'm hearing. It's a done deal. Now's the time. The clock is ticking. If you never shoot your shot, then you will always wonder what if. This is somebody's final chance, is what I'm getting. This is somebody's final chance. You're vibing with someone here, Libra. You are definitely vibing with someone here. Something here is destined to end. Something here is destined to be together. So, I see stability here. Let's see, let's clarify. And see what we get for you. Libra. 
I see someone wanting to come back towards you or you're wanting to go back towards someone. Why is the Eight of Swords here for Libra? God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. Why is the Eight of Swords here for Libra? Yeah. Looks like you're trying to manifest a new, a second chance here with someone. I see the, you got the magician here and temperance. Something is definitely being guided here, okay? Something is being guided here. There's some things going on behind the scenes. You're manifesting something. I see a lot of healing going on. But there's competition. What is this about? Why is temperance with the magician? Okay, look. We got the lovers. There's a decision here between two people and the six of pentacles. Someone here could be given to two people. <clears throat> or maybe this is what happened later on. This is what happened in the past. And now you want a second chance and you're, and you're kind of in your head about it. You're wondering if you're going to be able to get a second chance with someone that you feel very connected to. Someone was given to another person, so something was something broke up. <clears throat> and you're having regrets about that. Why is the chariot here? Yeah, you're determined to move towards new love or this person that you are in love with, with the Ace of Cups. Yeah, and it's, and it's starting to burden you if you're going to get a new beginning. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? This is your wish fulfillment, so why is the Wheel of Fortune here? There's definitely changes coming in. Yeah. The Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is here. This is someone that emotionally fulfills you. Let's get this. <laughs> These just fell out, and I'm going to take them. Um, you're moving towards emotional fulfillment. Your Ten of Cups with someone that you definitely have a strong connection with. Your soulmate, your divine masculine, your divine feminine. We got stability here. We got the Six of Swords. And we have the Nine of Swords. Why are you stressing out? You're moving towards stability, happiness, and, and all of that. But you're stressing about something. Why is the Nine of Swords here? You want to apologize, too. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Oh, because of the competition, the fussing, the fighting, and the arguing. That's what you're stressing about. Why is the Page of Cups here? Why is the Page of Cups here? Why is the Page of Cups here? The page of wands, you want to communicate to someone that you have a lot of passion for. But you're controlling your emotions here. Why is the strength card here? Why is the strength card here? We have the hermit. So you're taking a break. You, you, you have, you've moved away from a situation because you needed to do some soul searching. Why is the hermit here? Or you could be dealing with a Virgo that took a step back and they're controlling their emotions. Why is the hermit here? Why is the hermit here? We have the higher font. Somebody here could be seeking wise counsel about this situation. They're definitely going to God about it or whoever y'all pray to. Why is the hermit with the higher, yeah, about this situation? Yeah, they're speaking to someone of the higher power, their higher power about this relationship because this person is in love with you too. This is equal, you know, equal. Um, you you on the y'all on the same page? You on the same page with somebody? But somebody had to take a step back because of some competition. Why is the five of wands here? A lot of arguing. Yeah, the king of swords. Why is the five of? Mm. The King of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, we. Someone has regret for 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 possibly starting a new beginning here. Someone wants to wants to talk, speak some truth here about a new about a new beginning. Someone someone feels that you are their wish fulfillment, Libra, or you feel that someone is your wish fulfillment. 
We do got love on this table, like big time. Why is the five of cups with the ace of pentacles and the king? Yeah, it was a lot of drama here. A lot of drama here. But the sun card is here. At the end of the day, something is definitely changing. Why is the sun card here? Something came to the light about a three, a three, a, a third party. Wow. Why is the three of cups with the sun? Yeah, somebody was holding on to somebody. Or somebody wasn't really giving their all. You, you possibly reunited with someone and you didn't give your all. Or maybe somebody was holding on to a third person. Why is the sun card here? And that's the truth with the Ace of Swords. That's the truth with the Ace of Swords. Somebody got some clarity that somebody is holding on to a third party. Yeah. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Yep, King of Wands. Somebody could have still been somebody could have still been intimate with someone with someone else that they were holding on to. Ten of Swords, something is over. Someone was using their intuition and they know that there were secrets here about their wish fulfillment. The person that they that they're in love with. Yeah, something is ending. The death card, the ten of swords, the high priestess, somebody could have been hiding a mistress. Yeah, the world, the death, the ten of swords, something is over. This is going to be a missed opportunity here for somebody. Wow. This is definitely a missed opportunity. Somebody done really screwed up. And guess what, y'all? This was your final shot. This was your final shot. And somebody done screwed it up. I don't know y'all's story. I do do personal readings because it looks like somebody here need a personal reading. Check my description box. My information is there. Wow. What's the outcome here for Libra? What's the outcome here for Libra? Look, the Ten of Cups and the World card. A very happy ending coming full circle. Spiritual growth and insight. Now, there could be a new beginning here for some of you guys. Give me one more. The Ten. Give me one more. Someone here is at a crossroads. Someone here is at a crossroads. More on the outcome for Libra. The Three of Swords. Someone has ghosted somebody due to a third party. So something is ending in a happy situation. So now someone's at a crossroads due to a third party. Release the past. You will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. This is the Hermit card. Someone has ghosted someone due to a third party. Wow. What's the advice? What's the advice? This was short and sweet and to the point. This was short and sweet and to the point. Now somebody is very guarded here. Someone is very guarded. Someone could have took action and moved quickly from a situation. Or someone is moving quickly, very passionately towards a situation here. Huh. Someone could have been passionately talking to someone here. What is this Eight of Wands and this King of Wands about? Well, let's give me some more information. Yeah, somebody intuitively know that High Priestess, that somebody was passionately talking to someone. Wow, Libra. One more. Well, you gave me two more. That's going to be it. Yeah, the Three of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. Someone is waiting or someone has turned their back on a situation and they're waiting for something better. We got the Four of Cups and the Knight of Swords. This is a missed opportunity here. 
someone is moving quickly too from something. And, and this is going to be a missed opportunity for someone. Y'all, we got the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I don't, I don't know. But y'all, listen. I hate to see this. Somebody really messed something up real, that was really good here. Like, there was love and all. I mean, everything was here. Anywho, like I said, if y'all need a reading, check me out. My information is in the description box below. This is what I have for you. Please like, like, like. Push the like button, y'all. Share, subscribe. Love you. Bye-bye.